हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ मेथोट्रेक्सेट मेथोट्रेक्सेट इज अ कन्वेंशनल और सिंथेटिक और नॉन बायोलॉजिकल डी मार्ट हेयर डी मार्ट स्टैंड फॉर डिसीज मॉडिफाइंग एंटी रोमैटिक ड्रग नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स यूज इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ रिमोटॉइड अर्थराइटिस मेथोट्रेक्सेट इज ऑल्सो यूज इन कैंसर कीमोथेरापी Now, before discussing pharmacology of uh, methotrexate, let's quickly review pathogenesis of uh, rheumatoid arthritis disease and understand how DMARDs reduce inflammation and prevent destruction of cartilage and bone in rheumatoid arthritis disease. As we all know, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. Now, look at this figure of joint affected by rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, there is infiltration of uh, synovial membrane by activated immune cells uh, like uh, T cells, uh, then plasma cells, macrophages. So these immune cells they reach the synovial membrane. Now, as we all know, immune cells are meant to protect body cells and tissues. But instead, in rheumatoid arthritis, these immune cells target and start destroying healthy cells and tissues of the joints now activated t cells release cytokines now cytokines are inflammatory mediators like uh, interferon gamma and interleukin 17 now b cells they produce plasma cells and plasma cells further produce antibodies namely rheumatoid factor and anti citrullinated protein antibodies Macrophages also produce inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrotic factor alpha, interleukin one, interleukin six. Now these cytokines and antibodies target healthy uh, joints and they induce thickening of the synovial membrane. And apart from this, they produce inflammation, destroy the cartilage, and destroy the bone. Now look at this structure. Now this is a normal synovial membrane in pink. Now look at this structure. Now this is the thickened synovial membrane which is inflamed, and uh, uh, this type of inflammation and thickening is seen in the rheumatoid arthritis. So an ideal anti-rheumatic drug should prevent inflammation and reduce the activation of uh, immune cells and further prevent. a uh, destruction of cartilage and the destruction of bone so anti rheumatic drug should be anti inflammatory and immunosuppressant now uh, non biological dmards suppress immune cells like t cells b cells while biological dmards inactivate cytokines like uh, tumor necrotic factor alpha interleukin 1 now dmards produce remission remission is a is a retardation or complete suppression of uh, rheumatoid arthritis disease and thus dmards uh, prevent progression of uh, rheumatoid arthritis disease and these are the main drugs that are used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis now let's understand pharmacology of uh, methotrexate uh, in short MTX Now methotrexate is indicated in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis as well as cancer Now methotrexate is the demand of choice in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis It shows prominent immunosuppressant and anti-inflammatory property Now methotrexate is also important in the treatment of cancer so it is also used in cancer chemotherapy now as we all know cancer is caused due to uncontrolled proliferation or multiplication of cells now methotrexate is a folic acid antagonist it prevents utilization of folic acid by the cells now this further inhibits synthesis of dna by cells the cells are unable to proliferate or multiply and thus it produces cytotoxic action and it is very useful in the cancer chemotherapy
Now let's first understand mechanism of action of methotrexate in rheumatoid arthritis that is anti-rheumatic effect of methotrexate. Methotrexate is the uh, drug of first choice in rheumatoid arthritis. It is a standard anti-rheumatic treatment in rheumatoid arthritis including juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Now look at this schematic diagram. It explains mechanism of action of uh, methotrexate in rheumatoid arthritis. Now methotrexate inhibits the enzyme aminoenidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide transformylase. Now this enzyme is required for the metabolism of adenosine. Now inhibition of this enzyme by methotrexate inhibits metabolism of adenosine. Now since adenosine is not metabolized it accumulates and this adenosine produces anti-inflammatory action by inhibiting T-cell activation. Now inhibition of T-cell activation reduces production of inflammatory cytokines like interferon gamma and interleukin 17. Methotrexate also produces down regulation of B cells that is expression or the number of B cells is reduced. So generation of antibodies like rheumatoid factor also reduce. Now methotrexate also inhibit inflammation and damage produced by interleukin by inhibiting binding of interleukin to its receptor. So in a nutshell methotrexate inhibits production of inflammatory cytokines. Now this causes inhibition of chemotexis. Methotrexate also inhibits cell mediated immune response primarily causing rheumatoid arthritis. So this is how uh, methotrexate produces anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressant action. Now methotrexate is a first line treatment in moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis disease. Now let's discuss the mechanism by which methotrexate produces cytotoxic effect in chemotherapy. Now folates are necessary for the synthesis of purine and pyrimidine nitrogenous bases. Now these purines and pyrimidine nitrogenous bases are required for the synthesis of DNA and RNA. Now enzyme dihydrofolate reductase catalyzes the conversion of folate to dihydrofolate which is further converted to tetrahydrofolate. Now this tetrahydrofolate is required for the synthesis of purines and pyrimidines which are further required in the synthesis of DNA and RNA. On the other hand, tetrahydrofolic acid is also necessary for amino acid conversions and therefore they are required for the synthesis of proteins. Now methotrexate inhibits the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase inhibiting the synthesis of tetrahydrofolic acid and thus methotrexate inhibits the synthesis of proteins it also inhibits the synthesis of DNA and RNA and this inhibits proliferation or multiplication of cells and thus produce cytotoxic effect in chemotherapy. Now methotrexate is found effective in the management of uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, carcinoma of breast, epidermal tumors of head and neck and other different types of cancers. Now let's see to the anti-rheumatic dose of methotrexate. Oral low dose ranging from 7.5 to 15 mg weekly is found effective in rheumatoid arthritis. Now this weekly regimen has high acceptability in the patients while higher doses are required in the treatment of cancer. Now onset of relief in rheumatoid arthritis symptoms are observed within 4 to 6 weeks after the administration of first dose of the drug. Now methotrexate is the uh, 
is the non biological demand of first choice in the treatment of uh, rheumatoid arthritis including juvenile rheumatoid arthritis methotrexate is also an important component of uh, combination regimens which are frequently used in rheumatoid arthritis now very important to remember that uh, methotrexate is a folic acid antagonist and therefore folate supplementation is essential to prevent the bone marrow suppression now let's see to the uh, adverse effects of uh, methotrexate common and the major adverse effects of uh, methotrexate are oral ulceration and gastrointestinal upset prolonged therapy causes liver damage leading to cirrhosis now methotrexate increases incidences of uh, chest infection as it causes immunosuppression and besides this it uh, produces bone marrow suppression leading to uh, disorders like pancytopenia methotrexate is teratogenic and produces fetal structural abnormalities and therefore it should not be given to the pregnant woman now methotrexate also increases risk of malignancy that is it increases the risk of lymph lymphoproliferative disorders now renal failure is other potentially life threatening side effect of uh, methotrexate now methotrexate exhibits potential drug interactions particularly with ansets and proton pump inhibitors now dmats biological as well as non biological they should be used only in consultation with the physician so this is in brief on the pharmacology of methotrexate please note that the information provided in this video is meant only for students for clinical use of methotrexate consult your physician if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video